been sent with the gospel to the ends of the earth. Every man, woman, and child on the face of the earth. That's simple. Christ made it very simple. Take this good news to everybody. Go into all the world. And he put no limits on it. Go preach the gospel to everyone. Go make disciples of all nations. Any questions? He said, any questions? And I didn't even say any questions, but it was so simple. But it hasn't changed. And it's that the church would realize it isn't just a job that some specialized group of people does. We're all supposed to be part of this. We're all supposed to be involved with reaching the world for Christ. We're all supposed to be involved in outreach. Every last person. Now, the role might be different. Somebody's going to fly airplanes, and somebody else is the doctor, and somebody else is the technician, or even the, what is that video camera guy? Doesn't matter. The mission is the same. Go and make disciples of all nations. That's very clear. That's our task. And uh, you know, Jesus never asked anybody to go and translate the Bible. We just realized that how can they understand the message unless it's in their language? It's kind of like you got to figure that out, you know. And somebody's got to do that hard work, and it is hard work, and it does take a team, and it takes a lot of people back. The team extends further than this team. The team is a bunch of people praying thousands of miles away, giving sacrificially, loving people when they're, they have a breakdown, things like that. Uh, that's what it takes. It's not, a, it's not like a miracle a minute ever. There's a lot of hard stuff, a lot of setbacks, a lot of disappointments. But w when we're a team, we draw encouragement from each other. When we're down, the other person lifts us up. And... Uh, I think people need to realize that they're part of the greatest thing that's ever happened in the history of the universe. And that is that the gospel is being given to the nations. And that is, that's what we're part of. We're part of something really tremendous, something eternal. Something that makes more difference than Wall Street times a thousand. What we're into here is really... Nothing can ever touch it, can never fade or spoil, or nothing can detract from your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And so, why would somebody want to do that? Well, that's, to me, that's a dumb question. Why wouldn't you want to do that?